Hi, I'm Meredith Borchert. And I'm Leslie Burkis, and we're staff members with Trees Forever, a membership-based Midwest nonprofit dedicated to engaging volunteers in planting trees and caring for the environment. Diversity of tree species is critical for a healthy and sustainable urban forest. A way to achieve that diversity is to plant a variety of native trees that support pollinators and songbirds. When a community has an abundance of one kind of tree, that community's forest is at risk for a catastrophic loss of tree canopy from an insect or disease threat such as the emerald ash borer. It is recommended that a community have no more than 20% of a group or a genus of trees such as maples and no more than 10% of any species such as a sugar maple or red maple. Take an inventory of the trees in your yard in your neighborhood and choose to plant something different to add diversity. Consider planting native trees that support wildlife. 96% of birds in North America feed their hungry young with insects, such as caterpillars, that feed on the leaves of native trees. Native trees also provide the berries and seeds that migrating birds need for energy. So, what trees could you plant to promote both diversity and support wildlife? Swamp white oak has interesting peeling bark and can be used in a variety of settings including very wet areas. Their acorns feed turkey, deer, raccoons, and squirrels. Oaks as a group also help support over 500 species of native butterflies and moss. Black cherry could be planted more widely to help diversify the urban forest. It has a distinctive scaly bark and in the spring produces a showy white flower. The berries it produces are enjoyed by birds and small mammals. Black cherry also supports a wide variety of native butterflies and moth species. Hackberries have an interesting warty bark that makes them easy to identify. Their fruit persists into the winter and provides valuable food for songbirds at that time of the year. Hackberries also support a number of native butterflies and moths, including the hackberry emperor. River birch do well in wet areas and have a papery, peeling bark. The nooks and crannies that the bark forms are perfect hiding places for insects over the winter months, and those insects, in turn, are a food source for woodpeckers and other birds. The next time you see or hear a chickadee in your neighborhood, remember that a native tree likely supported the caterpillars that fed those songbirds when they were young. Choose to plant a mix of native trees to add diversity to the urban forest and support wildlife. Thank you.